welcome in Belgium. Good morning! Well, this is also my friend. This is my keen eye. So sweet. Aww. Come on, come on, come on, up. You picked it up, you go to the middle, up. Come on, up. That's it. Here you go, come on. Welcome to Cindy's World. Each week, from Belgium. Welcome to the first edition of Cindy's World. Well. Each week, she's going to answer some fan questions, and we'll see what she's been up to. You'll be able to submit new questions each week by visiting her Twitter account and replying to the pinned tweet. So let's get started. Today, family and fan questions. Okay, dokie. So this week, we've uh, got a lot of videos from you with your family and pictures of you training and things like that. So we've got uh, everything from your daughter's play to the snow to the gift, like with you giving your gift, your present to your to your daughter, and then your training, like you did lots of training. Um, so the first question that we got, we got from Top Quality Tony. He said, "Can you fight outside of Invicta?" Another one which tied into that was, "Who is the hardest puncher if you have been hit by?" in cage or in practice and have you ever been knocked out and that was by uh, any old cat so they're the two questions that are probably going to relate to your training so if you want to give me a little bit of information about your training and perhaps to answer those two questions and i work uh, every day on the meets with my friend Dave. well i train in perfect in may uh in uh Durna, uh Antwerpa, that's in belgium it's my brother's gym um, and I have somebody who works with me on the meets uh, almost every day. His name is Dave Alpatz. Uh, he's a former uh, Thai boxer. Uh, and he tries to help me with my striking and uh, improve uh, my total game. Uh, also, I follow the Thai box classes from Peter Meersman. Um, that's a part. And uh, I have uh, workouts with my brother during the daytime. Uh, if I don't have to work or during my breaks, that's where we work on uh, fighting cardio, like a cross-fight system, uh, where we try to uh, work on ground and pound and shoots, double leg shoots, single legs, um, with somebody who pulls back. So um, we use this system to create power and endurance and uh, good fighting cardio. Okay, here's another question for you. This one's from a nanny old cat as well. And we can link this into, we can tie this into what the present was that you gave you gave your daughter. Like, because you didn't, we well, couldn't tell in the video what it was. It looked like a dress, I think. He asks, when you travel to the USA for fights, who looks after the kids? And how do you get time off work on short notice for the fights? That's the next question. Well, if I go to the US, um, the kids, uh, two of my kids go to uh, their father. Uh, the smallest one stays with my brother or with my father or with uh, other members of my family. And my oldest uh, girl is 16 and she takes care of the small one mostly and she watches the dogs and the other animals in the house. Till now I've been very lucky with the schools i worked. Uh, everybody's been very supportive. My principals always give me free in like short notice or longer notice. Then I just take uh, uh, off work and I don't get paid. Um, also my students are very supportive. They really follow it and they always ask me questions about it or watch my uh, fights online. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and everything. So yeah, I've been lucky with that. Um, my job, uh, I love my job. I love to teach, and till now, uh, all my schools I've worked have been very supportive. So I ordered for my daughter a Vajana dress. The video I sent you where my daughter is unpacking a uh, present. That's something I ordered online. She's a big fan of every Disney princess and every Disney movie. 
uh, so am I. Uh, so we went to the theater to watch uh, the new Disney movie Voyana uh, from Montanui. And of course she was a big fan of the princess immediately. She sings all the songs and uh, knows all the lines of the movie. We already went to watch it twice. So uh, for Carnival here in Belgium, the children have to dress up themselves and she wants to have a Voyana dress. The problem is you don't find those dresses yet in the stores in Belgium. We are slower with all this kind of stuff so I had to order it online. Uh, so uh, we went to pick it from the post office and she was totally happy with it. So this carnival she can be dressed up like Princess Fayama from Montanui. Aha! <laughs> okay, so she follows after her mom then with all the all Disney stuff. Uh, so is her favorite place Disneyland? Then just like her mom? And that's that's actually one of the next questions. It says um, Patrick Starfish. It says if you could live anywhere in the world besides under the sea or next door to Misha Tate, where would it be? <laughs> and maybe you can't live in Disneyland either. Well, that's a very easy question. Uh, if I could really, really choose where I could live with all my family, I would grab all my kids, my Vicky, my Nafi, my Lola, my Teris, my Lola, and my best friend, and we would move into the house of Snow White, into Disneyland. Yay! And if that's not possible, uh, I would like to live uh, in Thailand. Thailand, uh, I lost my heart there. Um, in uh, I like for some way uh, or Mexico. Mexico is also nice. And you can see it. Uh, Thailand is beautiful. Yeah, that's very nice. The last part cut out. Uh, at the Mexico, the Mexico part cut out. But um, we've got the Thailand part. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's really a pity there is no Disneyland in Thailand, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, definitely the theme. Is is. Um, is Disney that uh, I don't think that will ever go away ever 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 <laughs> the next three are all from Rusty so Rusty Owen so first one is uh, what is Cindy's favorite food after weight cutting and after each fight I'm gonna take a guess and I'm gonna say chocolate first and then cheese that could be the other way around so you can tell me uh, after a weight cut, I don't like to eat cheese immediately because that's heavy and I have to open my stomach up again because it's always hard to cut weight and uh, I will feel like dizzy if I start to eat heavy things immediately. So first I drink a lot of water and something with electrolytes and eat something light and then I can uh, eat my favorites and a uh, cheese and chocolate, of course. Um, um, next to that, um, I don't only like cheese and chocolate, I like cheese always on everything, but uh, I also love uh, our Belgian fries uh, with so-called stofles. Um, I don't know how to say that in English, but it's a uh, meat and a sausage and we throw it on the fries, so they become like weak and very delicious. We put a lot of salt on it and uh, that with some Belgian mayonnaise, that's also part of my favorite food. The Belgian fries with the with the meat on it is that like um, like sausage like like chorizo or, or bacon kind of thing like is it is it like a spicy sausage or is it or is it something different? Well, stoffles is not really sausage. It's like kind of a beef stew, something like that. Like beef in chunks of meat and uh, yeah, in a stew. And we have something that looks like we call it fricassé, and that's also very delicious. And there is like little uh, meatloaf balls or meatloaf sausage uh, mixed inside. Uh, that's a new one. <laughs> I can't. I can't even imagine it. I can't even figure what that would be. It's like a whole meal. We eat it like it's a whole dish. It's a Belgian dish. We eat like Belgian fries like fresh cut and then we put a lot of salt on it and then we put Belgian mayonnaise it's totally different than American mayonnaise and then the store place with it and that's like uh, a full plate and sometimes we have some pieces of chicory with it too and that's also a, a Belgian vegetable yeah you're definitely you're definitely gonna have to um on the next one you have to take like a picture when it's like when you eat it because it sounds good like it sounds really yum like I'm a big fan of everything salty. Like I like really salty stuff. 
but it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. It's a very greasy dish, but I'm a fat kid in heart, so I love it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a fat kid at heart. That's good. That's good. That's how the best way to have food. All right. Well, we have um two more questions and then we're done. So the last uh, last two days are both from from Rusty as well. Who's your favorite comedian? And then uh, favorite fighter. My favorite comedian is without doubt uh, Alex Agnew. Probably you guys all know him because he's from Belgium. Uh, he's a stand-up comedian and he's like uh, hilarious to me. He's from Antwerp, that's my hometown. And uh, yeah, he has lo a lot of DVDs and everything, but you will not be able to understand because it's not in uh, in English. Um, my favorite fighter all time is for sure Gina Caramo. She opened all the doors for us. Uh, and uh, Misha Tate, that makes sense. She's my best friend and she is also one of the first female MMA fighters uh, who opened a lot of doors for us. So that's one. Uh, I also love Fedor. He's like one of the best ever. And uh, my favorite fighter for the moment now, still fighting, is without a doubt uh, Anthony Johnson Rumble. Like, he is a beast. <laughs> yeah, we have to we have to get you to uh, hooked up somehow. Somehow we have to get you two to keep tripping feet. <laughs> okay, that's all the fan questions. Thanks for taking the time, Cindy. And uh, we'll have some more questions for you next week. And uh, we'll see you then. Thank you all for watching and for following me and for your interest. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.